everybody, welcome back to another edition of Audio Advice High Notes, our weekly live stream video right here on Facebook, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time every single week. Thanks for tuning in. I have got Mr. Leon Shaw with us today. He was here last week. He is our founder of Audio Advice, but we've got him back again this week for Home Theater Receivers. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. And I see that you got the memo. I like I that. I did. You got the email matchy, that I sent matchy. out. Yeah, I love it. But one of us might have to, no, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. I thought maybe one of us would have to change, but we will keep it. So, last week I had you on, we talked about high performance turntables. So if you're interested in that, please go back. We archive all of these. We still have that on Facebook. Talked about high performance turntables. Yeah, this week, fun. yeah, it was fun. Home theater receivers. Now, before we dive in, I uh, want to make sure that we plug content that you've worked really hard on. We've got... It was fun. It wasn't that hard. Well, it probably comes very yeah. easy to you, <laughs> and it is fun for you. I think you've been doing this for, what, 40 years now, over, and yeah. over 40 years. And uh, I, you go into your office, you shut the door, and you just bang out content. I love it. I mean, you just turn it out. So... Best Home Theater Receivers, you've yep, written that piece. That. We best have home Best theater Home Theater Speakers, and, and we have just. Best Home Theater Systems. Correct. And you are working on... A Home Theater Buyer's Guide that is not specific about equipment. It's more totally educational. Yep. So typing away yesterday. For so a if long you were thinking time. about yeah. putting in a new home theater system in your house, this will give you the complete encyclopedia of what Hopefully. you... Yeah. So I, I'm excited about that. Um, it'll be coming soon, uh, 30 plus pages full of knowledge probably. So it'll be coming out soon. So make sure that you are stay, uh, staying tuned to our Facebook page. We always post our articles. So go on our website, check out all of our articles. We have hundreds of articles and videos covering all types of topics. But today, home theater receivers. So my first question to you is when purchasing a new home theater receiver, what are kind of the, the things that you need to look for in a home theater receiver? That's all in the article, by the way. That is all in the article. So, and I read the article, <laughs> but I don't know if everybody out there read it, so I'm asking you that. <laughs> so um, there's a mul multiple things. You know, there's a wide range of prices of yep. receivers, and you kind of need to figure out, are you buying something for just right now to solve a problem? You, know, you want to make something happen or you want to think about the long term. Sure. Maybe, maybe do a little bit more research, spend a little more to get something that's more flexible. As Where you're adding passes. more speakers. Yes, and, okay. exactly, exactly. So um, I kind of picked, you talked about this. So I picked four that I thought were kind of cool for the money okay. that we could talk about. Yeah, sure. So um, like you said, I mean, home theater receivers range in all sorts of pricing. hundred, couple hundred bucks all the way up to $8,000 and on normal, up. Yeah. So you've picked four um, that are included in that article, but four that you think are the best value for their price range. In that price point. Okay. Yes, so we'll start with? So we'll start. The first is an entry-level Ankyo. It's the, I hate all these little nomenclature words. The TXSR383. <laughs> it's about 300 bucks. It's seven channels. It's got a phono stage built in. So the person starting out there, they've got, they can hook a turntable up yep. to it easily. It's got equalization. It's got Ankyo's Accu EQ, which is pretty okay. good room EQ, which I think is very important to have. And it has Bluetooth. It's got seven power channels, so you can do a nice surround sound system sure. with, it with some you know, basic speakers and put together a nice little system for under two grand with yeah. a good set of speakers. With okay. Um, the next one really surprised me. I tested this about a year ago. It's it's a Sony receiver, the STRDN 1080, and it's uh, 600 bucks. All right. And it sounded really good to me for the money. Um, it also adds Dolby Atmos, which is the new object-based yep. surround sound, which I think that, that was what I was talking about. You may not want that now, but you may want that in the future. Sure. So that's something to step up, spend a little more money. And you need, you need uh, certain speakers to be able to run that. Yeah, so and the have processing that inside yep. the receiver, yes. And it's got Bluetooth, and it also has Sony's Room EQ, which works pretty well. Okay. For 600 bucks, that little receiver sounds Yeah, that sounds really like a great, great value. Yeah. Then uh, Morantz has one, the SR5013. Okay. That's about $1,000. All right. Now, that guy has Dolby Atmos, has Bluetooth, and it has Odyssey, which is Morantz's, uh, it's a Room EQ that Morantz and Denon use. And that is a really good Room EQ. Okay. Um, it also has a phono stage built in. It's got seven channels. So far, all these are seven channel receivers, okay. seven power channels. Yep. Uh, the cool part though about this one is, say you get a really nice pair of speakers and you want something better to drive them with. This has preamp outs, so you could later add a bigger power amp to it yep. to make those speakers kind of get up and go better. And so with the other two that you mentioned, um, you're, 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 you're kind of stuck. stuck. Right. Yep. This will let you upgrade. So okay. And it has Dolby Atmos, so pretty cool for a thousand bucks. Yeah. Then, um, 
our best selling receiver in our stores actually is the Anthem MRX 720. Okay. That's $2,500 and it is all about sound. It doesn't have a phono stage, it doesn't have Bluetooth. It's just got incredibly good amplifiers. All right. And really good room EQ. It's called Anthem Room Correction. That's some of the best room EQ I've heard. Um, and it's got really good uh, DACs in it for converting the digital stream to analog. Yep. And it's got really good processing. So when you play Dolby Atmos through that guy, it's just the stuff is just tracking amazingly well everywhere around the room. It just it sounds amazing. Yeah, and I assume that we've got, you know, most of these, we do have two stores. We do have online, but we do have two physical brick and mortar stores, right. one in Charlotte, one in Raleigh. And so if you're interested and you are fortunate enough to live close, you can come in, test these out here, and we've got plenty of, you know, well, setups. Well, if, if we've got time for a funny story, this is a great story. Uh, we've got plenty of time so for a funny we, story. We had uh, we have the Anthem 720 currently in our middle price theater okay. here in Raleigh. Yep. And we had a different receiver in there. And I put the Anthem 720 in there. It was almost two years ago. I didn't tell anybody. I put it, I programmed the remote, so no one really knew because the gear's hidden behind the doors. Yep. And I had two of my sales guys here come and say, Leon, what did you do to that room? It sounds amazing. Yeah. And it just was, it's transformed. It sounds of that Anthem receiver. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. So like Leon mentioned, we do have home theater rooms set up and we, we have a, you know, I think it's $9,500. Uh, room set up and then it levels up to it's about ten thousand about thirty five thousand and about one hundred fifty thousand here in Raleigh and Charlotte yep. has some rooms to set up. Okay, so if you're rooms. fortunate enough to live nearby Raleigh and Charlotte, swing on in. We've got awesome rooms set up for you to come in. Basically, I mean, it's like a kid in a candy store. I mean, it's people come in all yep. the time. They're listening to music, watching movies, kind of testing everything out. So it is a ton of fun. Um, thank you so much for giving us your knowledge on home theater receivers. Like I said. We've got plenty of articles on our website. We do have the best home theater receivers article on the website. Make sure you're going to our website to check all of this out. If you have any questions at all, we do have uh, phone support and chat on our website that you can just log into chat, ask questions. We have great support staff and sales uh, that'll help you out, answer any question that you can throw at them. So before I let everybody go, I want to make sure that you guys know that we are doing a giveaway and it's not a normal giveaway that we do. We generally do turntables, powered speakers. We are giving away a brand new pair of headphones and they are not just any pair of headphones they are brand new from odyssey they are the mobius headphones and I you've tested they, these out they are so cool yeah so you, it's, you can watch the, like a video on the screen of a game and you turn your head to the side and the sound and the moves sound like yeah you turned your head in the game it's incredible that's yeah so yeah. if you're into gaming and you're kind of playing the first player shooter games like leon said i mean you hear somebody kind of coming up on that right hand side you're going to hear it inside of the headphone they're incredible so we're also pairing that with the audio quest dragonfly dax so it's over a 500 hundred dollar value so make sure that you enter it ends on 11 59 p.m on the last day of february so we will be announcing the winner on the first friday of march make sure that you go onto our website you can enter there and then we give you a couple of ways that you can earn bonus entries by following us on social media youtube etc so make sure you check that out check out our website for all of our product reviews and buying guides and information there and always make sure you tune in every Friday right here to our High Note show at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week.